From the WBBZ TV studio in the Eastern Hills Mall, it's time to play. Where two teams come together in a battle of wits to determine who will leave with bragging rights. And now, here's your host, John DeShillo, with today's two teams. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm uh, standing here at the game table. I'm going to come right up front because we have some props and fun things that we're going to show as we go through the game. We have some great hometown teams with us on the uh, game stage today at WBBZ-TV. You saw them in a previous edition. Now they're back because in the last edition, one team won. The other team's now going to try to claim victory. And while they try that, we're going to talk about their great events that are here because we are supporting you right here in our hometown. Right? Right. Of course, right. So here on the red side, would you welcome back from uh, the Buffalo Cares for CAF from Buffalo, Cooley's Anemia Foundation. These lovely ladies are joined by more lovely ladies from Lewiston. Flower Power is back from the Lewiston Garden Club. And on the game show stage for the second time, would you welcome our Liberty Yellow Ambassadors? Would you say hi to Francesca and Sheila? So uh, Francesca this, and Sheila, you had a good time the first time. Thanks for coming back. Was it a good time? It was an excellent time. We had a lot of fun, and we're ready for round two. Yeah, round two, and Sheila's going to show us the game board with all the different X's and O's options that you've got. A regular Vanna White, if I may say so myself. <laughs> all right, I'm going to come over and introduce you to uh, the team captain here on the red side. I'm just going to navigate past here, and this is my friend Joycelyn. Hello, yes. Joycelyn. Hi, how are you today? Uh, welcome back. Now, <laughs> Thank you, you won the last game. We did. We're so excited. Yeah, so <laughs> maybe you'll keep the victory now, or maybe Lewiston Garden Club will win. You never know. You never but know. to show us this flyer, because you have the Buffalo Care Walk yes. coming up. Yes, we have it coming up next weekend, the 26th. Yeah, move that down so we can okay. hear it. Okay, yes. Oh, I'm in front. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> and um, it's open for the public, but you have to register online. We prefer that. You can come to the walk and register but we prefer online. Yeah, so, so you go online and the event noon to 4 p.m. So yes. you can walk around the perimeter of Ellicott Creek Park. Yes. And it's not a race so much. It's, no. a, it's a really community event to come together. And walking, I have found, brings people together. It does. You hold hands, you walk around, you have family and friends, and it's good exercise. It is, and it raises awareness for our cause because other people see us walking with the banner. And, you know, it's a way to promote the fundraiser part and also, you know, bring awareness. And it's uh, the particular concern is thalassemia. Thalassemia, yes, it's a rare blood disorder that affects about a thousand people in America, and my daughter has the severe form of it. How's she doing? She's doing very well, thank you. Good. Will she yes. be at the care walk? She will. She will. Yes, along with uh, the other families of thalassemia patients, we have two other families: the Wagers and the um, Lacurdos. Great. And they'll be with us. Michael Lacurdo, so, the family from the late uh, Buffalo. County yes, Council exactly. Member. Yes, and we walk in his memory, and we walk in honor of Josephine and Katrina. Right. Well, I'm going to step back. Tell us who's on the team, Joycelyn. Yes, here I have Nancy. Millman, our good friend, and her daughter, Sydney Millman. Nancy and Sydney, all right, they're here. We're going to come over now and say hi to the Lewiston Garden Club with Flower Power. And uh, we have back on the stage someone who is uh, a rock star, so to say. <laughs> yeah, this is Kay. Kay, show us the rock that you've got. There it is. It's a decorated oh. rock. We have these at the show. If you make a donation, you can pick out a rock. And we have different flowers. Uh, I do animals. I don't do birds, so. That's okay. This is I'm for the birds, but I don't do birds. No, no, that's right. <laughs> the Lewiston Garden Fest, when is the date? It's June 15th and 16th, and we have something new that we started last year in our container garden contest. Last year, we've always had the adults, traditional or whimsy. We have different nurseries that donate wonderful prizes. Well, last year, we started with the children's division. So now children that are first grade up to age 10 can enter. It can be very large, it can be very small. The one that won last year did a train with plants in it, and it was a class that worked on it together. So it was really cute. So we hope to get some more children in this year. Plus we have a couple activities since our theme has to do with family and children. We're doing paper, paper tissue paper, big flowers for them to take home. And also they can paint their own rock and make a ladybug. Just like that. Yeah, well, we just saw some great imagery, and I'm going to step back. Who do you have on the team with you, Kay? I have Doreen Albee, and I have Judy Teague. 
a new member over here that we're going to get her next year too, Judy Tallarico. All right, Doreen and Judy, we welcome you to the show. And uh, because uh, we started the other show with uh, the Care Walk team, the ladies from uh, Flower Power are going to start. And we want to mention that each question in the first round is worth 10 points, 20 in the second, 30 in the third. Take a look at the scoreboard. If you get your X's and zeros across, up and down or diagonal, you get a bonus of 50 points. You're playing for points. If you win, you become eligible for three large screen LED TVs from Dirt Cheap TV. Okay, Kay, take a look. B3. B3. That's sort of middle. During a 5K walk, you will burn some calories. How many calories will the average person burn walking a 5K? A, 200, B, 300, or C, 500? Who's got their Fitbit on? <laughs> Two hundred, three hundred, or five hundred? We'll try B, three hundred. B. Three zero zero. That answer is correct. There you go. Good guess. Yeah. All right. Last question in round one, right here, to uh, the folks from Buffalo Buffalo Cares for CAF. Ooh, they love that sound. Okay, where would you like your X to go? Um, A three. A three. How fast does an average human walk? Hmm. A point eight miles per hour. B one mile per hour. Or C three miles per hour. Average person when they walk. With the big walk. Yeah. Who leaves anemia foundation? May 26th. Point eight, one or three? Three. C, three. Three is right, yes, congratulations. Great choice, great <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the score. I think I know what it is. Francesca and Sheila, what is it? And red 10. 10 to 10, tie score. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a break, take a look at the uh, screen, show you all the information for the events coming up for the Lewiston Garden Festival June 15th and 16th, and the big walk coming up at Ellicott Creek Park to celebrate and may raise awareness for Cooley's Anemia Foundation. We'll be right back right after this. Welcome back to the game stage. We're here on Bragging Rights with our friends Francesca and Sheila. And we're just talking about the teams that are here. Francesca, you say that uh, you're a runner. I am, yes. Mm -hmm. I run 5Ks with my family. We try to do one a month. Have you heard about this walk that's coming up? I have heard about this walk. Actually, my mom told me. Great. See, there you go. So it's all about being organic in the community. And you, and you exercise too, Sheila. I well. do, yeah. every day. And you are a, a world-class gardener, from what I understand. Oh, I think you're exaggerating a little, but OK. <laughs> what do you do around here? But how did you uh, become such a famous gardener? Well, in high school, I took horticulture at um, McKinley High School. So it started then, and I have such just a great passion for it. Do you have a green thumb? I do. Great. I do. You don't have a green thumb, though, Francesca. No? I don't, but I'm very willing to learn. OK, so. you're willing to learn. And we're going to take you to both of these events. Ellicott Creek Park is in Tonawanda. Guess what? Liberty Cab serves Tonawanda. Who knew? That's right. And you can go to Lewiston as well, Center Street, a little farther up if you're in the metro area. And tell us how Liberty Cab can offer a ride. So we have our ride app that is spelled R-I-I-D-E. And um, if you use the app and you use our promo code RIDELOCAL1, you can get $10 off your ride. $10 off. That's yeah. terrific. Thanks to Bill Yucky and the team at Liberty Cab. You can go to the website, libertycab.com, find out more information about what they do all over Western New York, supporting events. Bill tells me he's going to have, be at 4,000 events this summer, maybe 4,001. We'll meet Bill in just a little bit. Back on the game stage, our teams on the blue side, Flower Power. <laughs> Seeing if they can claim victory because the Buffalo Cares for CAF won the last time. They're back for round two. All right, I'm going to come over now and meet another member of the team on the blue side. And uh, we're going to hold on to that plant because it's really super special. And again, you are? Doreen Albee from the Lewiston Garden Club. Doreen, what uh, flower do we have here? Well, there's three different in here. And when you make a container, you want to have a thriller, which is the primrose, the taller plant. The filler is a purple alyssum. And the spiller is a creeping jenny. A thriller, a filler, and a spiller. That is correct. See, you're learning already. I am. It sounds like a new show on the MeTV <laughs> network. But 
the important thing, we're trying to encourage gardening for all ages and really to encourage our children and get them out to the outdoors. So this year our theme is Grow Together, Make Gardening a Family Affair. And one of the things that the children would love is a butterfly release at 10 o'clock on Saturday, June 15th in Hennepin Park. We're able to add more monarchs to the environment and the kids love seeing that release happen. Oh, yeah. Beautiful to see them fly away. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to take the thriller, the filler, and the spiller right there. <laughs> like that, okay. Sydney, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, so tell me about some of the other fun things. If they've got a Thriller flower, you've got some Thriller folks coming to the uh, walk. Yeah, we have the Justice League of Western New York coming. Um, we're gonna be doing face painting, uh, photo booths, and a gigantic raffle with some great prizes. Big raffle, and the Justice League of Western New York are all costumed superhero characters. Yes, it's gonna be exciting. Yeah, what's, uh, what's your favorite superhero? I like Captain Marvel. Yeah, there you go, and he likes you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he does. All right, let's take a look at the score. Francesca and Sheila, what is it as we get into round two? We have the red team with 10 and the blue team with 10. Tie score. Tied. Each question is worth 20 points in this round. And uh, we're going to go over to Kay at Flower Power. Where would you like your O to go? A4. A4. Away from two. What is the deepest point on Earth? A, Tonga Trench, B, the Mariana Trench, or C, the Philippine Trench? Deepest point? The Mariana Trench. B. B is correct. 20 points. <laughs> you get pretty deep around here. I don't know how, but we do. Okay, folks, Joycelyn, where would you like your red X to go? B4. B4. Who was the four foot tall Harry character in the TV series The Addams Family? A. Thing. B, Lurch, or C, Cousin It? B, Lurch. Was it Lurch? Oh, no. Unfortunately, that's not correct. The answer was C, Cousin, cousin it. it. Yes, Cousin, cousin It was the little foot. guy, and foot. Lurch was the big guy. Oh, that's right. God. Cousin It, and the uh. Uh, played by actor Felix Silla, who's still alive, by the way, and uh, interesting, interesting human being. Anyway, we met him once at the Marilla Car Show. Anyway, I digress. Where would you like your blue O to go? A2. A2. Three minutes left in this round. During the world, during both world wars, victory gardens were popular with civilians. Which reason did the government push this policy so much? A, for a morale boost, B, because of rationing, or C, fear of enemy crop tampering? Victory gardens. B, rationing. Because of rationing. Another correct answer. B, he is yes. right. Now we hear about urban gardens in the city of Buffalo, and uh, you can do that anywhere. All right, Joycelyn, you're next. Okay, uh, we're gonna go with B4 again. B4 again. Elon Musk said in an interview that he founded SpaceX after attempting to buy a warhead less missile so he can launch what to Mars? Elon Musk, what's he gonna launch to Mars? A, a Tesla, B, a greenhouse, or C, a command post? Elon Musk, kind of a unique guy, yeah. wacky. We're going to say B. B. Another two thumbs up, B is right. Yeah, he's gonna launch it. <laughs> I believe it. Okay, Flower Power, K from Lewiston Garden Fest. We gotta go. C. C or D? C2. Okay, C2. C2 it is. What Ooh, was Michael God. Keaton's last name before he changed it? because it was already the name of another famous person. Yeah. Michael Keaton, was he A, Michael Jackson, B, Michael Caine, or C, Michael Douglas? No. Yeah. Jackson, Caine, or Douglas? What was his real it's, last this is gonna, name? This is gonna be a guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go with Douglas. We're gonna go with Douglas. It took you a little while to get it, but that is the correct answer. Oh, yep. <laughs> Michael Douglas, son of Kirk Douglas, and the talk show host Mike Douglas. A lot of Douglases. Okay, Joycelyn, you have your red X. Where do you want it to go? Okay, B1. B1, last question in round two, goes to you. Who commanded the USS Enterprise before Captain Kirk on Star Trek? All right. Was it A, Christopher Pike, 
B, Jonathan Archer, or C, William Riker? Christopher Pike, a. Jonathan Archer, or C, William Riker? A, Christopher a. Pike. Do you like that guy? Yes, that is correct. Like Congrats. That guy. Yeah. And he's not four foot tall. What is the score as we end round two, Francesca and Sheila? All right, the red team with 50 and blue 70. Ooh, 50 to 70, it's still very close. Anybody's game, 30 points in the next round for each question. We'll be back right after this. Bragging Rights on WBBZ-TV, your hometown television station, will continue after this from our sponsors. Welcome back to Bragging Rights here with Bill Yonke, the president of Liberty Cab. Bill, it's always great to see you, and uh, thanks for supporting not only the station, but these uh, not-for-profit organizations that come in because they really need the support, and by you supporting BBZ, they're on TV. Thank you so much, John. It's great to be here. Are you uh, someone that you would consider yourself a gardener? Uh, not really. Uh, don't, don't have a green thumb? No, all my ex-wife took all the green. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, it happens. I tell you, I, 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 another reason I came tonight because, you know, my father always told me about this money tree outside the backyard. So I was hoping these ladies could tell me where I could, I could plant a green tree oh, right. to get some money. Well, if, you, if they share that secret with you, can you share it with us too? <laughs> Yeah. Sure, John. Good. Thank you very much. Right, Bill Yonke, you. President of Liberty Cab. Thank you very much. All right. Back here on the game stage, on the blue side, Flower Power from Lewiston, the Lewiston Garden Fest ladies for round three. And they're playing against the Buffalo Cares for CAF, Cooley's Anemia Foundation, on the red side. All right. I'm going to come around and uh, introduce you to another member of the team uh, on the blue side. And this is... Judy Tellerico. All right, Judy, what are you going to tell me about the big Garden Fest? First of all, the Garden Fest in Lewiston, it's a, we do r raise money through our efforts at Garden Fest, and we then funnel that money back into Lewiston, and as well as in scholarships for people who are interested in pursuing a gardening-related um, Yeah, it's great. Yeah, just like we, we talked about some high school students early on. So... Exactly. The Lewiston, and it helps, this is in the area of Lewiston. Yes, it is. And then also, we do many projects within the town in the village of Lewiston with the funds that we've raised during, through our efforts in Garden Fest. Say hi to my friend Keith Ranford when you see him up there. Okay. We will do that. We often see him walking through town. Yes, with little Frankie the dog. Yep, they're just saying hi, Keith. They're watching over there. All right, and uh, again, you are? Nancy. Nancy, so uh, you have some other information about the big care walk because this is not just a walk, but this is a party. It is a party also, yes. After the walk, we've had some very generous donations and food and beverages are going to be provided. We're going to have chicken wings, pizza, hot dogs, lots of snacks and beverages, and just sit down, relax, talk to everybody, schmooze a little bit, and enjoy some good food. Schmooze. Schmooze. Yeah, that's a good word. Okay. All right, and let's take a look, by the way, at the uh, scoreboard with our uh, friends from Liberty Yellow with Francesca and Sheila. We did make a, a move. We took one of the O's and moved it to C2, where it was requested uh, with the uh, O team when we had a, a question in the last round. So that changed a little bit of the dynamic on the board. So just wanted to mention that in case you're watching. All right, so that said, we're now going to go back to the game and Flower Power, you are next. So Kay, where would you like your next D1. Order? D1 at the top. D1, if you get this, you get a bonus of 50 points. Cross fingers. Let's see how this works. Should find the question. Easy one. Uh, yes, an easy one, yes. <laughs> Happy Days, question nine. Happy Days has many spin-offs, including Mork and Mindy and Joni Loves Chachi. What TV show did Happy Days itself spin from? A, Love American Style, B, Room 222, or C, The Love Boat? <laughs> Favorite show here boat. on MeTV when it's up. Happy Days, what did it spin from? Love American Style, Room 222, or The Love Boat? Room 222. B. Wrong. Yeah, the tell correct, us the show, Francesca. The correct answer is A. Love, Love American Boat. Style, oh, which Love I Ameri didn't oh. know at the, when oh. it started, but uh, that was what it uh, started from way back when, in the 70s. All right, Buffalo Cares for CAF. Take a look at that scoreboard. They didn't get a 50-point uh, bonus there. Okay, we're going to go with D1. D1 for the block. 
Question 10, in Greek mythology, who is the queen of the underworld and wife of Hades? A, Artemis, B, Hera, or C, Persephone? C, Persephone. Is it? I don't know. You're right. <laughs> C is the correct answer. <laughs> Francesca, give me a little a moment there. All right, <laughs> Persephone, okay. That's great, we have some points up and we have a block. Wow, they're really big strategies now. All right, Flower Power, you're next, okay? Hey, lady, B2. B2. B2 it is. Question 11, what does Woody say when he, has his, when he is in his boot in Toy Story? All right, what does Woody say he has in his boot in Toy Story? A, a snake, B, a rock, or C, sand? Sydney, I think, knows I think this. Sand. I think He's sand. Banging on the podium. I don't know. Snake, rock, or sand? What does he have in his boot? Sand. Sand? Oh, no. That is very wrong. What is it? The correct answer is A, a, a snake. slithering snake. Yes. That's hey, did one, you know that, Sydney? One I did not yeah, maybe see. you did. A little bit. OK, Toy Story I fan. All, um. all right, next question's coming up. It is question 12. But uh, first, Joycelyn, take a look at the board. Where would you like your game okay, to go? OK, we're going to go with B2. B2, right there. OK, strategy on the board with this. What year was Super Mario Brothers released? A, 1978, B, 1985, or C, 1980? 78, 85, or 90, I'm sorry, Super Mario Brothers. We're gonna go with 1985. Was it a very good year? 1985 was a very good year, that is correct. Mm, yes, it was, Super Mario released for 30 points. Question 13 is next, Flower Power. Okay, lady. What do you think? A1. A1, yeah, we got a lot of strategy going on that board. It's up for grabs now. What do you call three consecutive, uh, consecutive strikes in bowling? A, a wombat, B, a turkey, or C, a picket turkey. fence? Turkey. Jumped right in. So did Andy in the control room. What is it, Francesca? Gobble, gobble. The answer is turkey. Yes, it is. A wombat. <laughs> I just made a wombat. Referencing, of course, beat the champ right here on the, on the station. All right, is this the last question, Chatham, in this round? It is. And it is going to you, Joycelyn, okay. Nancy, and Sydney. C1. C1. What letter represents five in Roman numerals? A, I, B, V, C, X. Five in Roman numerals. V. V is that for victory? V is for victory. Congratulations. Well, they have points up for that. Do you love this birdhouse, too? You can see that at the Lewiston Garden Fest, June 15 and 16. All right, let's look at the final score, Francesca and Sydney. Sheila. Sheila, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we have the blue team with 100 and the red team with 140. Wow, so congratulations, the Coolies and Amy Foundation. They are the champions on bragging rights. Sydney, of course, on the team, Sheila at the scoreboard. <laughs> So many ladies, I can't keep track. <laughs> but uh, we're not going to send the, the uh, losing team home empty-handed. Nope, we got two passes to enjoy bowling. Uh, I can't promise that Paul Peck and Sue Navoyski will be there, but our bowling proprietors say, come on over, because uh, they're proud sponsors of Beat the Champ, free game of bowling. And for our winning team, a pass for two to enjoy a movie at the Dipson Theaters at the Eastern Hills Mall. Enjoy new comfortable seats with the best art and independent films in Western New York with digital sound and projection, plus real butter on the popcorn. All right, there we go. We want to thank our teams. We want to thank you, Francesca and Sheila from Liberty Yellow, being our ambassadors right over there. And I uh, want to thank our hometown teams for being here as well because they have big events, the Lewiston Garden Fest, June 15 and 16, and the walk uh, for uh, CARES, Buffalo CARES for Anemia Foundation is May 26th. Go to our website, WBBZ.TV, find out all about that and how you can be on the game show, and we'll see you on the next edition of Bragging Rights. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.